To try and help you get some more information on Ranrock and his plans, Lodgok requests you to retrieve the Helmet of Urkot for him. Now, this involves you traversing through the Collector's Cave, which is riddled with puzzles to complete. So this video will be showing you how to solve all of the puzzles and get the Helmet of Urkot in Hogwarts Legacy. And I'll even be giving you a really simple way to beat the boss fight at the end. After you talk to Serona at the Three Broomsticks, you'll need to pay a visit to Lodgok in the Hogshead Inn. He's gonna then set you on your way to find the Helmet of Urkot, which is located deep within the Collector's Cave, close to Hogsmeade. Once you enter the cave, it won't take you long to find the first puzzle, which is almost like a tutorial for how the rest of them will work. You'll see on this door here that there's a missing moth at the top, so all you need to do is find it and return it to the door for it to open. If you take the path to the left, you'll find the moth at the end of it, and all you need to do is use Lumos to attract it to you and then walk it back to the door. As soon as you stop casting the spell, the moth will automatically return to its position and the door will open. This will lead you straight onto your next puzzle, which is slightly more complex, but still pretty straightforward. As you enter this room, you'll now see a door with three missing moths on. Two of them are located within the initial room, but you'll need to use a purple spell of some description on this door to the right to access the third one. Then place them all in the door and you're good to go. So now it's time for your first battle. Here you'll be fighting a new enemy called Inferi, which are actually a real pain to take out. You can only use fire spells to damage them initially, so make sure you have a couple of those ready to go. Once they've been damaged though, an easy way to defeat them is by using Accio to get them in the air, and then Depulso to throw them into an object. There are quite a few of them, but this shouldn't be too challenging. Once they're all gone, you can progress through the cave for your next puzzle, which is going to introduce you to a new mechanic. In the middle of the room there's a turnstile which needs to be powered up by a moth, and luckily there is a moth nearby to do this with. There's also another moth in this room which you can put straight into the door as you grab the last one. The turnstile can be rotated by using Depulso on it, and if you do this, you'll see a platform raise up next to you. You can then use this platform to get up onto this ledge and retrieve the third moth. After you've put this one into the door, go back and get the other one from the turnstile to complete the puzzle. This will now send you into the final puzzle, which is definitely the most difficult when you first try it, but really simple when you realise how it works. Immediately in this room, use Depulso on the crate hanging above the drain. This will cause the crate to fall and break through the floor, allowing you to drop down into the next area. There are a couple of items in this room as well though, so go ahead and pick those up first. You'll need to move the box in front of these ledges with Accio, but then it's as simple as jumping up onto them. Anyway, after you've collected those, head down the hole in the ground and swim to the right. This leads you into a big open area with multiple Inferi to take out. The nature in which they attack is actually incredibly frustrating as they can hit really fast. So be sure to utilise all of your spells here to give you the best chance of survival. Use fire spells first, and then either use R1 or RB to throw something at them, or use Accio and Depulso to throw them at each other or into the walls around them. It will take a little while to clear the whole room, but you definitely don't want any hanging around while you're trying to complete the last puzzle, so make sure to get rid of them. Now time for the puzzle, and this one is a little complicated, but can be done very quickly. Firstly, move one of the moths from this position onto the ledge over here. Then take the other moth and place it into the turnstile. And here's where I got confused. I was only using Depulso once on this turnstile, which does push this platform up over here, but not enough. What you need to do is use Depulso multiple times on the turnstile, so the platform raises up to the same level as both of these ledges. Then, once you do that, you can grab the moth on your way to the door and place it in. The second one is across on the other ledge, so raise the platform as much as possible, quickly grab it and jump over to the other side again. Then the last one is down on that ledge that we put it on, so use Depulso on the turnstile yet again to raise it up to you. You'll be able to get it with Lumos from here, and the puzzle is then complete. Through this final door is where the helmet is supposed to be, but unfortunately it's been stolen. So of course it's now your job to go and retrieve it. Meet back up with Lodgok to give him the news, and he'll tell you where to find the thieves. Then simply make your way to the marked area for the final battle before completing this quest. Upon arriving at the location, you'll be met with multiple Ashwinders and a huge troll, which is actually really tough to take out. Luckily, I found out a way to make this a lot easier, and yes, it's very cheesy. If you use the Disillusionment spell, you can make your way past this area and across the bridge on the right. From here, you can take out the Ashwinders with a bit more space, and the troll cannot cross the bridge, meaning that when you've defeated the thieves, the troll is basically a sitting duck. It will be able to throw things at you, but these are really easy to dodge, as you have plenty of warning. So just keep hitting it with your ancient magic and random objects lying around until it falls. The helmet will actually be on this side of the bridge in the tent, so you can just walk up to it and take it. This will unfortunately spawn an Ashwinder assassin and a couple more enemies, but with your ancient magic they shouldn't be too difficult to deal with. Once they're all gone, you can safely return to Lodgok with the helmet and the quest is complete. 
If this video helped you out in Hogwarts Legacy, then you definitely need to watch this other tutorial that I've put on screen for you now.